Hello and welcome, I'm Arumba. Thank you for joining me. Let's play some more of our A Sun God, the Incan Sun God in Europa Universalis 4. Uh, he wants to attach to me, so we'll wait a second, let him do that. It'd be great if I could uh, get his army in the center. You know, we might actually be able to finagle that. I bet if I did something like this, if I split the... Uh, if I took the majority of the army and put it over here, and I told just this army to move in. Now wait one day. Um, we can have, well, it's two days, but we can have Kala in the center of the engagement. So we'll have three on six at first for two days, but then after that the remaining army comes in. And we can have our little vassal on the front lines in the center. We want him right in there. There's there's the Chica... Chukoya Chuk boys, first regiment in the center, and then Wolf come in on the sides. Let him take most of the damage. Sounds good to me. Well, not most of the damage, but at least have him be part of the main fight. We don't want him on the flanks. And now we're gonna go stack wipe that thing. And once it's stack wiped, I think Kala can handle the sieges down here. really should have given my vassals a little bit of time to form an army. We're going to tell Kala to no longer attach. We're going to tell Kala to be aggressive. And we'll give them some, some targets. I might leave behind a couple regiments down here. But we'll have them take care of some of these sieges for us. Did you get any uh, any kind of a leader with siege value, please? Did you? Lose stability or gain autonomy? Well, hey, this is actually really good for us. Because this means that we can lower autonomy in these provinces. Um, in Ab and K. Like, right now, we can't click the lower autonomy button. You have to have at least 10 autonomy to do it. So we'll definitely accept their demands. That's actually really a really good event. Uh, if you're playing as the Inca. And you have high high tolerance. I mean, we've got negative unrest here. If it wasn't for the war exhaustion, it'd be more than negative 10, so... Okay, he's got, he's got enough men, I think, that he can handle most of it. But I'm still going to detach a single regiment on these two, just to prevent them from training more men. Unless he's going to come down here and siege it for me. If that army continues on, let's let's wait a second. If on the 11th... No, he's not going to continue. Okay. Let's come back then. Oh, you know what just happened? Actually, accepting that lowered our, our, our authority. Never mind. Oops. It didn't say it was going to do it, but we were definitely at 90-something and now we're at 80. Oh well. Mistakes were made. It happens. We're two-thirds or so of the way to Tech 2. Now, do I want to actually take any of this land? I kind of do. Then again, it kind of don't. Too many relationship slots is not good. We don't have a reform that gives us more relationship slots like the Aztec. So, it's a tough decision. Why do I feel like Kajamarka is not actually doing anything? because I've given them no uh, no army to attach to. So they don't know what to do. We'll put them on no focus. Just let them do whatever they want. Alright, so once this guy's sieged down, it just feels like such a waste to siege somebody down and then not do anything with it. Uh, local unrest. Ab and K gets arranged marriages for five authority. Yes, please. All 
Alright, I'm gonna head up that way because I care more about sieging this guy down. Hmm. Nice job, Chimu. We appreciate your efforts. We have some grasslands up here, which is really good. We're gonna wait till the end of this month. And now we'll go engage. Shift consolidate for better fighting performance. No penalties because we've got river crossing ability. Stack wiped it. Wow. That is ideal. Now we'll do the sieges ourselves up here. Uh, let's grab the army. We're going to shift consolidate. We're going to, first off, leave behind the leader. And then we'll detach uh, a couple of little guys and get the majority that way. One can go here. One can go here. And I might as well. Kind of low on manpower. We'll, we'll avoid the one little attrition tick. The on-siege arrival attrition. So we can get these sieges started faster. And then you can come home. We have a riot, uh, Colin Peasants? No. Alright, so we're already going at six. <laughs> I'm gonna end up at six out of four relations. Unless I wanted to just like transfer control of this land to Chimu. They haven't even cored this thing yet. Which is kind of kind of weird. Why haven't you cored this? It's like 60 admin points. Shouldn't you be coring that, Chimu? Oh, it's because we're at war with him. Right, gotcha. You didn't start it in time, and now we're at war with the guy that has a core there, so you can't core it. Makes sense. Our force limit went down when I lowered it when I when I let the autonomy go up. Still, we should be able to pass uh, lower autonomy in these three, pass the reform. That'll give us some rebels. We do need to boost stability. You have to be at level one stability to actually pass the reform. So, we'll do that. So, level one or level two? I think it's level one. Yeah. Hmm. We'll do the authority again. Got our core. Quite a bit of unrest there. We're probably going to have to fight at least one rebellion. But, having that tolerance of the true faith at very high, from having two of these things now, quite good. 5.8. And we're at zero manpower. Hopefully these sieges are able to continue, though. Yeah, the garrison's already been weakened a bit. Alright. If you could win this siege, please. Hey, Kala, why don't you come out down here and help? Here. Um, let me see if... I, I want to get Kala to come do it. Attach this unit. Kala, this is your goal. Kala, I want you to be... Um... No focus. Come down here. You can resume the siege for me, and you suffer the attrition. How's that sound? Now, if I leave... No. Don't attach to me. Just stay there. You do it. Take care of it. It's your job. It's why you exist. Okay, so since he hasn't started coring this province, I can't really sell him another. I could transfer control. Just make him bigger, but if I transfer control, then that means that I can't lower autonomy in these provinces. But, I can integrate him really soon. Which would give me a bunch of cores for only 10 dip per base tax. Which would be pretty good. I think I might do that. I might make Chimu really big. Because my main goal is really, I just wanted to get the first reform as fast as possible. After that, I don't really care that much. 
As long as we get to five before we encounter Portugal, we'll be fine. And I don't think Chimu is going to get so strong that they have like high liberty desire, especially because I can integrate them soon. I can integrate them in 1460, which is in six years. Can they core three, four provinces in six years? I think so. <clears throat> That'll allow us to actually do something with Pacajes. But again, I need ten provinces. I've got five right now. I'm going to get three here. That takes me to eight. <clears throat> I think I take... I'm going to full integrate Pukai's... Full annex him. Look how aggressive Chimu's being. He's got a siege leader up here and everything. He's just such a helper. I like him. Alright, we're going we're gonna to do this. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to risk this. Chimu gets here. We're going to make you big, man. Uh, oracles and divination. The world can sometimes be an unforgiving place, and fate may turn in surprising ways. Luckily, we have the Huaka gods. Should the future be too hard for the Huakas to penetrate, there are other, other ones. Do we want to consult the oracle of our local Huaka? 25% chance of a favorable outcome. Or we can travel to the great oracle of Paka Kamek. 80% chance of a favorable answer. Let's, let's do it. We'll go for the, the favorable one. Favorable answer from the Huat and Hama, Ham, Hamurpa. A great number of diviners are attached to any given oracle shrine. The that thing speak to Huakas while the Ayatapuk communicate with the dead. The Huatuk achieves a prophetic mood using a holy beverage while the Hamurpa read the entails, entrails of sacrificed llamas or other animals. All of these great diviners have now dwelt on the questions of Pachakuti Hanan and has come to pose and all agree that the time ahead will be most fruitful. Sweet! Free stability is good. Alright, we will transfer control of this one to Chimu as well. And now we will try to... Ah, shoot, it's not going to let me... If I, unless I want to negotiate with the war leader, which is Huila. And if I want to do that, I can't take... I can't full annex Huila. But I could take the land that I have two claims on. Which actually costs me... I've got claims on both, right? I do. Yeah, the two that I would take here would be zero dip for me. And then the other one's up there. That would allow me to full annex him. So we get... But the thing is, I wanted to full annex Huilu and turn them into a vassal. I have five provinces. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Maybe I don't even need to do it. Maybe I could just transfer this to Chimu as well. And keep one for myself. Full NXU, pass the reform. Leave Huila intact. Yeah, I'm going to transfer control of this one to Chimu. We're going to do that. That's going to be the peace deal with him after I separate piece Pakahes for full annexation. Okay, so... Full annexation, 180 dip, it's fine. These points mean little. We're going to keep you around so we can pass the reform. But then we're going to release you as a country. And this is the piece deal I wanted with you. I don't actually need your money. I'll take six ducats. Okay, so a lot goes to Chimu and one goes to me. Hopefully I did my math right and I'm at 10 provinces now. Incorporate. Claim Sucre. Sucre. Okay. Um, that would be a good mission. Sure. Let's wait two days. Fabricate a claim on that. Um, yep, authority just needs to be 100. So even though we have uncored provinces that we can't even like, really reach, we can't core them, <laughs> it doesn't matter. They count as cities. Uh, we can encourage divination. Yes, please. Okay, now we're going to lower autonomy in two provinces, down here and here. We're going to pass the reform, get our colonist. This is going to cause us to lose two stability, and we go down to zero, zero authority, and we're going to have to fight a bunch of rebels. So that kind of stinks, but it's okay. 
We need to do it. So we're gonna get our get our guy. And they managed to rebel in the province that I was already in. With a 2-1 leader. So we should be kinda okay. They actually have more morale than I do. Would have been nice to have a uh, a leader down there. I'm gonna hire a mercenary and teleport my leader down. See if he can join. Hopefully our vassal will come help. Yeah. Okay, uh, next we're going to lower autonomy here and here. Um, this one I'm gonna have to core myself. We'll just keep it. Next, uh, we're gonna lower autonomy in these three. We're gonna release a vassal down here called Pakahis. Oh, we lost the ability to do that mission. Okay, that's fine. Remove Huila from the map. Well, we have a truce with them. Improve relations with Wonka. Uh, sure, why not? Wonka's our vassal. We might as well make them like us, right? We're still able to fabricate the claim, though. On that guy, which is kind of weird. I don't want to do it, though. Uh, Kajamarka is our vassal. We accept. We are at five out of four relations. Five vassals. Reinforcements arrive in two days. The mercenary is almost here. We do have our um, our colonist available. And so here's where we're going to start abusing it a little bit. Uh, we're going to need to wait until the 601 day travel time goes away. Um, but we can do it here for now. And here's the little, the abusable feature that you can do. I actually managed to still lose that fight, and that's probably because our leader didn't make it there in time. Alright. Oh, shoot! And then the mercenary... Ugh. Well, I guess we don't need that mercenary. So manpower issues are, are a problem. So here's the thing. When you have colonies that are really, really close to your capital, 13 days, every time you send a colony, notice how you have, we have 10 people here. You can retract, and then send again. Uh, well, actually, it's not if it's 601 days. We need that to update. I hate that 601 day travel time bug. Uh, Non-enforcement of ordinances. Let them handle it, apparently. It would be nice if we were at war and we could tell our vassals to come help us, but... Be supportive. Come, come clear my rebels. You know you want to, Cusco, or Chimu, or somebody. So the main thing is, we need to get Chimu at 190, so we can annex them first, since they're much larger. And I'm, I'm assuming that they're doing their coring, or that they will start to. They're coring Cuenca, and they're coring Juarez. Good. And he's moving in to attack one of these guys. And this guy is moving in now to reinforce. Good. National Epic? Yeah. Let's keep our prestige high. Could help. 601 day travel time. I'm going to try something real quick. We're going to save the game. Exit to menu. And reload it. Because I've heard that that can fix the 601 day travel time bug. Which is stupid. The game's been out for a year and a half or longer. There should be no reason for that kind of a bug to even exist. A sun goad. Did, did anyone else? I, this is the first time I noticed that I actually spelled that wrong. Yes, that's right, we're a sun goad. No, it's still 601 days. Well, that certainly ruins my plans. Madre de Dios! Mother of God. That's what that means. Well, I don't know what to tell you. That is a really annoying bug. When will it go away? Now it's 17 days. So, oh, who understands this game? I swear. It must be because, like, we didn't have control of this province, or, like, it was being sieged or something? I don't know. It's weird. Should probably take care of the rebels and our vassal. Okay, so, well, we have our colonists. That's what's important. And now every 17 days we're going to retract and send. 
We do need to park an army there, though, to protect from rebellion. But first, we gotta take care of this. Attach to me, please. Come help. Come help this fight. Come here, Kala. You're not gonna come help? Alright, I guess we're waiting on morale. And then we'll go fight. It's gonna be another two months, I think. Kala's a little bit busy taking care of their own rebels, apparently. They're willing to help each other out, though. So if we do this often enough, we can grow at 20 per month, which is uh, 240 per year, which is actually pretty, pretty damn fast. And if we keep him there on the end of every month, he can actually still have his regular chance to increase the size of the colony. We still have to pay full price, so it's not like we're like getting away with not even having to fund it. But... It does drastically increase the growth rate of a colony. We're already at 77 people. And that fight went horribly. Looks like we gotta use some mercenaries. We just don't have any manpower anymore. Mercenaries, ahoy! Alright, well I'm gonna take a break here. Next video. It's going to be when we uh, get some fun stuff done. We're going to start to... Uh, see, I timed it wrong. Now he's not going to arrive before the end of the month. So we missed the opportunity for the 25%. Oh, another rebellion. Okay. It's a fairly sizable one, apparently. Rebels fighting rebels. That's fun. It's your problem, people. Okay. Yep, I'll see you again in the next video. Thanks for watching, everyone. See you soon.